information should flow freely. Yeah, and now we're watching what happens when governments block that flow of information. So we thought it was important to show solutions to access blocked social media sites and more. And yes, a good VPN is a reliable way to do just that. So let's dig in a little deeper, shall we? Now recently, VPN use in Russia surged by nearly 2,000%. Want to guess the cause? Mm -hmm. Governmental bans on information sources that fall out of their control. That's why people struggle to find factual information about what's happening around the world. Not just in Russia, but also in countries like China, Turkey, and Egypt as well. Now, a social media VPN is a way to bypass that censorship, but not every VPN is up to the task. So, here's a list of providers that will work so you can unblock Twitter, TikTok, Facebook, or any other social media platform. But before we get into the best VPNs for bypassing censorship, I just want to show you how to access blocked social media. These steps will be very similar for all of the VPN providers. First off, you're going to need a VPN subscription. But guess what? You can get some of the best prices just using the links found in our description. Okay, once you have the subscription, you're just going to have to download and install the app. Now, I already have Surfshark on my PC, so all I need to do is log in, connect to a country that the platform is accessible in, for instance, here in the US, why not? And that's the answer to how to access social media that might otherwise be blocked. If you've ever wondered how to access Instagram or TikTok, well, you can now say farewell to internet restrictions going this route. Now, the best thing about any reputable VPN is that censoring institutions won't even be able to see what you're doing since you're getting a generated IP address and your data is encrypted. However, keep in mind that some countries could have some serious consequences for even just using a VPN, so be aware of local laws. With that said, here's the best VPN for bypassing censorship. Well, four of them at least. First up, NordVPN. In my opinion, one of the most reliable providers when it comes to figuring out how to access Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or even TikTok. It has ChaCha20 encryption, RAM-only servers, and a no-logs policy, and all of it's been audited. Such features and the fact that it's based in privacy-friendly Panama just guarantees the safety of your data. Okay, but what about the server options? Well, Nord has over 5,300 servers in 60 different countries. There's no server in Russia, but you don't really need it in order for the VPN to work. You can just connect it to any other country. So yeah, Nord is still one of the best VPNs to get around Russia's restrictions. NordVPN also offers six simultaneous connections, meaning I can set up a VPN for TikTok on my phone, then show you how to access a blocked Facebook on my PC at the same time. Features like obfuscated servers will also be helpful since they mask the very fact that you're even using a VPN. As for pricing, well, the cheapest plan goes for around three bucks a month. You can get a seven day trial to test it out and there's a 30 day money back guarantee. All right, the next social media VPN option is Surfshark. Now, whether you need a VPN for getting to Facebook or Twitter, it's not gonna have any problems bypassing restrictions. They have an audited no logs policy, RAM only servers, and ChaCha20 encryption. Surfshark is also based in the Netherlands, which, yep, is a country that is part of the Nine Eyes Alliance, but their security measures ensure the privacy of your data. Also, Surfshark offers 3,200 plus servers in 65 countries, and you can use any of them as a VPN for Instagram, for example. Just like Nord, they don't have a working Russian VPN server right now, but you can always connect to a server in a neighboring country. Okay, gotta mention their Android exclusive GPS spoofing feature, which is an answer to how to change your location on TikTok or on Instagram. It overwrites the phone's GPS module, so the apps think you are wherever the VPN server is. Surfshark is also known for unlimited simultaneous connections, and their plans started under $3, so there's an option to share your VPN plan with whoever you want and save some pretty serious money this way. There's also a seven day trial and a 30 day money back guarantee. Another provider that would work great as a VPN for Twitter or any other social media platform is Viper VPN. Their privacy and security measures are on par with the other VPN providers mentioned here with ChaCha20 encryption, a no logs policy and Switzerland jurisdiction. 
Now, it has fewer servers, around 700, but it does cover 70 plus countries, so you'll still get plenty of options. And when it comes to bypassing censorship, well, Viper VPN has this little chameleon tunneling protocol, which disguises your VPN traffic as regular encrypted traffic. But in my testing, I did find that this particular protocol was a bit slow. But hey, if you're looking for a VPN for Instagram or maybe TikTok, apart from the slower loading speeds, it will definitely do the job. Their pricing starts at around $8 currently, but they also offer a one month plan if you're just looking for an affordable short term option. Last but not least is Windscribe. It's also one of the best options if you're looking how to access Instagram or how to access TikTok or any other social media for that matter. Winscribe encrypts your data using either AES-256 or ChaCha20 depending on the protocol you choose. It has a no logs policy as well, although it hasn't been audited. Winscribe is within Canada's jurisdiction, mm -hmm, a Five Eyes country, so I'm hoping that they'll get an audit in the future. You know, give us some extra assurance, guys. Although it does have less servers than other providers, around 480, the country list is quite diverse, over 60 to choose from. And for a little extra privacy, it does have a double VPN feature. Now, it's not unique to this provider, but it's something that may help with security when bypassing restrictions, since you connect through two servers. Also, it's one of the few providers that offers a free version, and one that I kind of sort of approve of, I guess. Because see, actually, the free version isn't going to help much with censorship. You're going to have to get a premium plan to cover that, which goes for around $250 a month if you pick their one-year deal. All right, I hope this list was helpful to you. Drop a like and subscribe, because here at Cyber News, we cover the latest cybersecurity information and share reliable updates, which includes how to bypass censorship. So if you decide to try a VPN, make sure to pay attention to three things, privacy policies, the security it offers, and any special features that could help you out in heavy censorship cases. Okay, with that said, if you're experiencing censorship issues right now or have come across them in the past, let us know your story in the comments below. Hopefully we can help you out. And follow us on social media for all things cybersecurity related. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.